Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about intervals and inverting them. And it's for the intermediate rudiment exam. So let's just go through some right now. Let's just quickly talk about our perfect intervals. Now perfect intervals are your ones, that means on the same line or space, your perfect fourths, four notes apart, your perfect fifths, five notes apart, and your perfect octaves. Okay, so I'm going to turn the page here. The other intervals we're going to be talking about is all the others augmented and diminished intervals. So with the perfect intervals we just talked about, they can either become diminished or augmented, never minor or major. So remember, perfect intervals, which are our ones, our fourths, our fifths, and our eighths, can only become augmented or diminished, never minors or majors, all right? Now the other ones, which is gonna be your twos, your six, your sevens, your threes, they can all, and this is the lineup, and they're all, they all move in half steps. They can be diminished, minor, to major, to augmented. So you just have to understand they're always just going to be growing by a half step. So, and a diminished interval can be shown with a degree sign. Okay, an augmented interval can be shown with a, a little x. So now I'll show you here. This is just thirds as an example. A minor third, I mean a diminished third, will sound like a major second. Okay, but this is what we're going to look up because they're three notes apart on the actual questions. So we have to say three because we're seeing it as three notes apart on the score of music. But then you have to see where are they. So diminished third, minor third. See C to E flat, it's one, two, three half steps away, and it's a minor third. A major third, one, two, three, four, four half steps away, it's a major third. Now an augmented third is one, two, three, four, five half steps away, and it will sound like a perfect fourth. So I'm just gonna go through some exam questions that you might get, and we're gonna do that together. So now, let's just do some example questions. We're going to answer the interval and then right under, directly underneath, we're going to invert and I'll give you the rules on that. Very simple rules. So here's the type of question you might get. You would have one, two, three. See, they're three notes apart, so you're gonna put three down right away. Now, you can ask yourself always the major scale question. Okay, the major scale question in the scale of F, major, would I play an A like that? So now this you have to remember, F major only has what in the key signature? A B flat, so yes. In the scale of F major, I would play A as we see it there. So we would say major third. So now you could say major, you could write out major in short form, but that also would be major third. Okay, so now let's invert. The question for your intermediate rudiments is turning them upside down. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. It's still in the treble clef, so make sure you look at your clef when you do the next question. So, F is at the bottom, so we're, and it doesn't matter where you place it right now, so we're gonna place it on top, okay? A was on top, so we're gonna place A at the bottom. So you see, we flip them around. Now we have to answer the question. In the scale of A major, would I play an F like that? So, first let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, count every, the note, and then every line in space, so that's six. Now, in the scale of A major, would I play an F like that? Well, remember, A major, what comes before A in the alphabet? G, it doesn't have a flat in its name, so we know we're gonna go Father Charles goes. Okay, so, oh, see that F? Should have had an F sharp, but it doesn't, it's closer to the A, so it's going to be a minor sixth. Now here I'm just gonna write out some rules for you quickly so that you can remember and how we do intervals and inverting. And they're really quite simple. If we have a major interval, it becomes a minor. If it's a minor interval on top and we invert it, it becomes a major. If we have a perfect interval and we invert it, it remains perfect. If we have an augmented interval, 
that means a larger interval, it will become diminished. Okay, so this is augmented, short form, diminished. If it's a diminished interval, it will invert to an augmented interval. So you see, you just have to memorize that little pattern. And the other thing is, from the actual interval itself to the inverted one, it has to equal nine. All right, so let's just see how this math works. So you see here the question we just did? A major third and a six. So what is six and three? It was nine, major became minor. All right, let's just quickly do the next one just to show you. Okay, so here's this question, A. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we saw it was a six. Now, it's just like the other one we just did, but inverted. In the scale of A major, would I play an F like that? We already know it should be an F sharp. So no, that's closer together, because can I take you to this keyboard? In A major, we would play an F sharp. And it's here, you see it's closer together, as opposed to that half step further. So it's going to be a minor six. Let's invert. Let's put the A on top and the F we're going to put underneath it. Now, one, two, three. See, it's going to add up to nine. See these two added up to nine. This was a minor, so you could say major. If you're really sure of that answer, you can just do that and say major. Now, this is a good way to check if you're not sure of that answer. Ask yourself, in F major, do I play an A like that? Yes, so I'm sure of this, so whichever one's going to be easier, and that's a good way to check your work. Let's take a look at one here that has accidentals. Okay, we have three, so right away, the first thing you do is count. One, two, three. All right, that can't change because they are three notes apart when we're looking at it. All right, so we don't, can't work about, worry about it enharmonically and how it will sound or when it's played, but when we're looking at it, it's three notes apart. Now, it says A flat major to C sharp. Okay, so what I tell students to do sometimes in your head, get rid of one of those accidentals. Like let's, for instance, let's get rid of this flat. Okay, so we asked ourselves, we can now just say, just for yourself, now we're working, remember we have to work in half steps. In A major, would I play a C sharp? Yeah, remember in A, what comes before A is G, Father Charles goes yes. So that right away is a major third, right? Now let's bring this flat back. Let's, so you see now it's going lower. It's going to be from there. It's got wider. So if it got wider and this was a major third, what's wider? Okay, so what comes after the major? It's the augmented. So this is an augmented third. Okay, an augmented third because it's wider by a half step. So let's just flip it. Well, maybe this will be easier. So A flat was at the bottom. So let's put A flat on top. The C sharp was at the bottom. Let's put C sharp at the bottom. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it was six. Yeah, three, three plus six equals nine. All right, so now. You're going to, they're going to say, you would, because that was augmented, you would right away say, oh, that's a diminished sixth. But let's check our work. Let's get rid of that sharp, just for ourselves. In C major, in the scale of C major, would I play an A flat? No, see, that would make it one, two, three, four, five, six. I would make it a major sixth, but it's A flat. So that's a minor sixth. Now, let's bring that C sharp back. So that's where it would be. It's even another half step closer. And so, what is that? Diminished. Okay, so remember, if it's, it goes from diminished to minor to major to augmented. We have to always work in half steps. Okay, so that's inverting your intervals. Let's now review what we just learned by watching some flashcards. And if you have any questions, you can always just post right underneath and um, we'll get back to you. Okay.